Hey guys, this is James from Whistler Adventures. Uh, today we're going to be showing you all the best places to park around Whistler. Whether you've got an RV, whether you're looking for free parking, day parking, overnight parking, we're going to show you everything you need to know. Let's go. The most popular spot for parking in Whistler is going to be in the day lots right here. So you can see right now we're in lot three and just over to my right is lots two and one. It gets closer to the gondola, closer to Whistler Village up there. It also gets slightly more expensive. And then off to my left down here we've got lot four and lot five with RV parking, overnight parking, and great proximity to the Lost Lake Trail Network for mountain biking or cross-country skiing. Make sure you pay for your parking here though. They are ruthless with enforcement. Okay, so now we're parked in lot three at the Whistler Day Lots. Uh, the easiest way you're gonna wanna pay for parking is by using the app. So the Day Lots here use pay by phone so i've got it loaded up right here and this is the same app that all of the whistler parks use use it for street parking it'll find the nearest lot so you can see it's got main street right here municipal hall uh, is right across the street and the day lots all show up so here we go day lots one two and three all we do is select the amount of time we're going to be here and it's got my credit card on file for easy payment. Okay, just like that, we're good to go. The other option for payment, if you don't wanna use the app, is the pay terminals right here. All you have to do is put in your license plate number, put in your credit card, and you're good to go. So this stop sign here marks the Valley Trail. This is not an exit for you to drive on. It is pedestrian only. So just watch out, you don't take a right or left turn. Whistler has loads of EV charging stations. There are these five stations right here in lot one, which is probably the easiest and closest to the village. But there's also EV options at the conference center and there's Tesla superchargers at the Fairmont Hotel as well. If you're heading into the village for a stroll or you're looking to get some groceries at Marketplace, then the Marketplace parking lot is the area you'll want to park. The first hour here is free, but you have to register your car with the Passport Parking Canada app. And you've got to watch out for the sides of the parking lot that are 15 minutes storefront parking only. So center of the lot is where you're going to want to be if you're over that amount of time. This is the Whistler Conference Center lot. It's a great spot to park if you're going into the village for lunch, maybe doing a little bit of shopping. Uh, it uses the pay by phone app, which is the same app used in the day lots or all of the Whistler parks or street parking. So it should be really convenient and all set up. There is a two hour maximum in this parking lot though. So you won't want to park here if you're doing any skiing or mountain biking or anything like that. There's also two EV chargers just down at the very end if you do have an electric vehicle so you can get a charge while you're parked. If you're driving up to Whistler just for a day of mountain biking or skiing, then the Creekside parking lots are the best kept secret in Whistler. Not only is there a huge surface parking lot right up here with a grocery store, a liquor store, a Starbucks, and some other stores over here, but there is a massive underground parking right underneath us with easy access to the gondola and it's free. You can park here all day. So highly recommend if you're driving up for the day, check out Creekside. You don't have to drive all the way in the village, deal with all that mess, no apps to deal with or anything like that. Underground parking here is the best deal you can find. And there you have it. Whistler has tons of options for paid parking, free parking, electric vehicles, RVs, and everything in between. If you do have a large vehicle, just make sure you drive straight to lot four because that's going to be the easiest parking. You don't want to get stuck around the narrow streets with a big vehicle or with a trailer. And if you have any of your own parking tips, let us know in the comments below.
and I'll get I'll get you walking. Hang on, we gotta register this. The parking guys right there. <laughs> What's your? Uh, I don't have your license plate. R. Yeah, RF. 